Gustave Courbet is not only one of the most important pioneers of modern art, but he is also one of the greatest French painters of the 19th century. Born in Ornans in 1819 and died in exile in Switzerland in 1877, he not only experienced events such as the 1848 revolution, the rise of the Salon or the uprising of the Paris Commune, but he was also at the center of them as a committed artist. But before he created realistic milestones, such as the burial in Ornans and the artist studio, the painter from provincial France was rooted in traditions of Romanticism. This is particularly evident in his self-portraits, which represents the most essential part of his early work and paved the way for the later monumental painting, the artist's studio. The portraits mostly show Courbet as a dreamy young man. These dreamy depictions run through his entire oeuvre, the sleeping spinner, the hammock, the girls by the Seine, etc. And find their climax in his nudes, such as Sleep or Venus and Psyche. Another influence of Romanticism is that Courbet never portray, uh, portrays himself as a painter or as a craftsman, as an artist at work, but always takes on the role of a romantic figure, be it as a desperate man, a wounded man or a cellist. The artist as an autonomous subject who stands in the middle of society. This is also shown by his only representation as a painter in the artist's studio, which can be described more as a history painting than a self-portrait, which moves him also into the center of the composition and into the center of the world. The world comes to my studio to be painted is the appropriate quote. But 10 years before the studio picture, one can see Courbet with his dog, his leather belt in his hands or a pipe in his mouth. The theatricality of the gestures and the light finds its climax in the work The Desperate Man. While this painting has moved back into the collective art memory since the access to the internet, that self-portrait can be seen on dozens of YouTube thumbnails or articles and through all its pathos also addresses the youth directly. Many of his self-portraits had an autobiographical background, for example his work The Wounded Man, which based on a drawing should show the artist himself resting with his beloved, the lady Virginie Binet, who was also immortalized dancing at the side of Courbet on the painting The Happy Lovers but after their separation, he changed the composition and painted over her and replaced her with a sword, which also explains the red blood stain on his shirt. Of course, many contemporaries would rather brand this self-portrait with the word of the cult of genius, Genie-Kult on German, which of course is correct for many works, and also for contemporary positions in art in which the myth of a suffering artist is still represented, for the latter a critical attitude would be appropriated. But one should consider the work in relation to its time, because the theatricality or the staging is the core of the works themselves. Courbet is not concerned with presenting himself as a Christ-like figure of suffering, this was the mistake of the interpretation focused on the artistic genius, but it was a contemporary form of expression for him to tell a story with his theatricality. Because those self-portraits by Courbet are among the best examples of efficient storytelling in painting with the artist himself in the leading role, they offer a level for clear interpretation but also leave room for free interpretation and do not just show the artist at work or as a status symbol of himself. Nor is it a gesture or a costume study, but shows painting as a pure form 
of expression and the representation of a certain emotional state in the life of the artist himself. Half a century later, painters such as Lovis Corinth or Edward Munch created works such as The Blind Samson, in which Lovis Corinth allegorically deals with the suffering of his stroke, or Munch's whole series of self-portraits, self-portrait under the mask of a woman, self-portrait in hell, or self-portrait with wine bottle, which fully bring the self-portrait into the modern age. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed this video, might take a look at my channel, might leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you like it. I hope I will see you again. Bye bye.